Welcome back, and today I'm going to introduce the T consonants in Thai. And I can almost hear the sighs of desperation coming from out there. You're looking at a screen that's got six weird characters that all make a T sound, and you're thinking, why does Thai need six T consonants, and English has only got one? I'm never going to remember these. This is just too difficult. I might as well give up. So. I'm going to start by saying a few things to hopefully give you encouragement. And the first is that when you're learning something difficult, it makes it worse if there's no end in sight. But there, there is an end in sight. This is the seventh of these Back to Basics tutorials, and I'm expecting to do around 25. And each one is 10 to 15 minutes long. So, you know, 25 short tutorials isn't too bad. And regarding the consonants, yes, there are a lot of consonants in Thai, but only a fairly small subset are used frequently. With these T's, this one here, called Tor Sahan, which means soldier, is used all the time. Very, very common. This one here, called Tor Tung, which means bag, comes up, but not as frequently as this one. And this one, called Tor Tong, which is a um, flag, is used to a lesser extent than this one. So you need to remember this one, you should remember these two. Now these three over here, you're probably not going to see. They're using a few names. Um, this one is used in a word that does come up a lot, which I'll talk about in a minute, but um, it's not really important to know. So at this stage, you don't even need to remember these three. You just need to remember this one certainly, and you should make an effort to remember these ones. And it's the same with other consonants in Thai. There's, you know, there's several S consonants, but some are used more frequently than others. So don't worry about it too much. And hopefully what I've just said will give you some encouragement that it's not as bad as it first seems. Now, one of those rare T consonants is used in this word. It's just here. And this word says Rataban, which is Thai for government. So although I said you, you'll never see those three rare consonants, this one is actually used on every single banknote, and there must be billions of banknotes in Thai. So it does actually come up a lot in one word, but there aren't many people who look at the writing and the pictures on banknotes. Here's an example of the very common Tor Tahan T consonant. And this is a sign I've used before in the tutorials. So here we've got the word harm, don't do something. And this second word, Tortahan, the T consonant is the initial consonant. Then we've got the short I vowel above it. And then the final consonant is the ngong ngu, the NG sound. So that word is ting, which means to throw away. So do not throw what away. This final word is kat yat, which is uh, rubbish. Don't throw rubbish. That very common T consonant, Tor Sahan, is used in the word Thai for the people or the country. I can't quite remember where I took this photo. I think it may be a use here. But if you look down here, this, these two words, Con is like people, and this word here is Thai. So th this vowel, which I haven't covered yet, makes like an I sound and it's written before the vowel, so Thai. And very unusually, you've got a your yuck written as the um, final consonant. That's not, not usually the case. I think that's the only word that uses this vowel and a your yuck as a, a final consonant. So con Thai, a Thai people. And these are Thai numerals, uh, which I haven't covered yet. I will cover them in a later tutorial. And that's actually 10 and the bo by my, and then the, that's the B consonant. Then the long R ah vowel, and again, to han, the T. Oh, another thing I need to mention is that some consonants change sound, whether they are an initial or final consonant. With the T consonants, they make a T sound as an initial consonant and a T sound as a final consonant. So bar, that's the unit of currency in Thailand. So con Thai, Thai people with 10 bar, and foreigners 50 baht. As I said, you, you might see one of these unusual T characters in a name, and that, that's the case here. 
So this says Supanat, which is someone's name. And this word here is Manshan, which is the English word mansion, which has been transliterated to Thai. And it's used in a different way in Thailand. In the West, a mansion is a very large, ornate house. In Thailand, uh, what they call mansions are basically apartment buildings. And Andrew Biggs used to be very amusing using his play on words. He was the Australian that reached a very high level with the Thai language. Um, I used to hear about him all the time, but I haven't heard anything about him for a long time now. And instead of saying, you know, this morning he um, he left the East of Harmon building, he would always say, you know, I left my, my mansion at eight o'clock this morning. Here's an example of the Tor Tung T consonant. So we have Tor Tung is the initial consonant, and it's followed by the long R uh, vowel and the Yo Yak Y in a uh, final consonant. And these two together make like a, a long I sound. So this is Tai, which means um, to take, as in a, a photo or a video. And this word here, this is Ro Rua, which is confusingly written like an English S. The Sara U from the last tutorial, and then the Bo Bla, which makes a P sound as a, a final consonant. So Ru. So Thai Rup just basically means uh, to take a photo. Um, this will be a sign that you will see outside of um, like photo studios if you, if you need to get some photos done for your passport or something. This word at the top is Digiton, which is just the English word digital transliterated into Thai. And if you're wondering about the stuff at the bottom, uh, Mi Shud Karachigan. Um, mi is to have, Shud it's like um, a set or a, or a uniform, it's used in different ways. And Ka Rashigan is a government worker. And Thais are extremely status conscious. And being a government worker is perceived as having a higher status than other people. So government workers like to have their sort of photos on the wall, they've got their, their white uniform and all their medals and they're, they're looking very very stern you, you know it's called the land of smiles but you, you never see a smile in one of these photos but you, you don't actually need to have that uniform and the medals because if you go if you go to one of these photo studios they've already got them they, they can just um let you borrow them for the photo session here's an example of the tall tong consonant and it's used in this word which you, you also see it here, and you also see it here. So you can probably guess what it is by looking at the English, you can see these are all banks, and Tanakan, which uses that Tortong consonant, just means bank in Thai. Here's a handwritten sign, and it's the custom in Thailand to remove your shoes when you go into a building. And it seems a perfectly reasonable thing, you know, if you go into someone's house, you don't wear the same shoes that you've been wearing outside, they're probably filthy. So I do it naturally now, and even if I went back to a western country, I would still do it. Tyres normally don't need reminding to do it, they will do it naturally, but some places you will see this sign just to give you a, a gentle reminder. So the first word, uh, garuna, is just like, um, please, just being polite. Then we've got an example of the tor tung consonant here, the um, T consonant, that's the initial consonant. Then we've got a written vowel, which is fairly unusual because a lot of Thai words won't have a written vowel. You, you need to add like an, an implied vowel. And then the, the final consonant is the door deck, which, which makes uh, a T sound. And another strange thing about Thai is that they've got six T consonants that make a T as a final consonant but with most words that have a T sound as a final consonant they use dodek which makes a, a D sound as an initial consonant so to, to means to take off as in clothes or shoes and then this word here wrong and then we've got another T consonant here which is surrounded by a vowel wrong tau that's the Tor Sahan, and Rong Tao means shoes, so please take off your shoes.
just one more example and I took this photo in Bangkok I think near a victory monument and it's advertising minivans that go to a little seaside resort east of Bangkok and as I mentioned in the last video lots of foreigners seem to have a problem with the um, Thai word for island saying ko instead of got and quite a few have a problem with this word as well so let's just look at the spelling so the initial consonant is a, a P sound and then we have the Mahanagat which makes like a, a, a U in English and then the, the final consonant is the Tortahan T, so Pat. And one strange thing about Thai is that a single consonant can be the final consonant in one syllable and the initial consonant in the next syllable. And there's also this business of having unwritten vowels as well. So what we need to do is add a vowel here, a, a short A, and that's our initial consonant of the second syllable. So Pat, Ta. And then the final syllable, it's the, the your yak, the Y consonant, and the long A vowel, ya. So Pat, Ta, Ya, not Pataya or Pataya. Pataya. Uh, if you want, we can just look at the rest of the sign. So this word here is uh, Chonburi, that's the, the province that we're talking about. Bang Sen, I think that's a, a place name. I, I'm not familiar with that part of Thailand, Bang Sen. Mo Burapa, that's probably another place. And Chalum Thai, which I guess it, uh, is another place. I'm not familiar with any of these places apart from Chomburi. Borisat is company. Rot Rung Rung. I guess that's the name of the company and Jamgat is limited so you know it's a name of a company limited that's where it's going to um, this here is, is sort of a more specific location where it's going to so Lam Bali High uh, Lam is Cape so Bali High Cape and this is the word we did in the previous tutorial for island. Got, got lan. Uh, I guess that must be an island just off Pattaya. And the cost is 97 baht. It runs from six in the morning to eight in the evening. And here uh, we've got another tour tong here. So rot, which is like vehicle, the van. O, o is um, to leave. Here we've, we've got an example of Tortahan, Tuk, which is every, ten, and another example of Tortahan here. The um, no, no, and the long A, which is na, and then the Tortahan and the long E, na, T, which is minutes. So between six in the morning and eight o'clock in the evening, the vans leave every ten minutes and you can get there for 97 baht. If there was something that I didn't explain very well, or if I skipped over something that was important, please let me know. If you have any other comments, questions, or feedback, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and more videos soon.